am so tired. So windy all night, pushing and pushing, and I'm just, I just have my body against it. I think staking it would have been worse. And when I laid on my back, I had little pockets of sand. <laughs> it was the worst night's non-sleep. <laughs> it's cool air. It's not freezing. It's just enough to where you need to sleep like this. Maybe the rain fly would have kept it quieter and it would have been whapping. Is that a word? <laughs> it would have been whapping in the wind. Apparently we've tuned in to Daffy Duck. All right, well, listen, I just wanted to remember this last night that I didn't sleep at all. God, I biked 64 miles yesterday and I sweat so much. You'd think I would just fall right asleep. So I'm gonna lay here and try to fall back asleep. Sometimes it's the best sleep. Good night again. See you in a few hours. cooler of yummies to offer me how sweet i posted my ride yesterday and he was able to kind of look and zoom in and see and it's so appropriate because on my very first day i met wayne he saw me biking in the wind and then it was that same day later that i saw him up so what was the town idaho city you were getting off your bicycle at the ice cream shop and i thought well i shouldn't go in because you know she's a woman on a bike by herself and here i am some guy she barely knows so i went in anyway and i learned a big lesson in life when in doubt, forget the doubt, recognize it for what it is and go for it. And because of that, we formed kind of a kinship. You kind of cemented the deal when you wanted the ice cream with a shot of an espresso <laughs> in the milkshake. And that's when I gave you the sunblock. You got me sunblock. It's the kind you like. Oh my Zink gosh. Oxide. You are fantastic. Yeah, I really feel like it's a privilege, Naomi, to be part of your story. Aww. I mean that. Thank you. Yeah. It was such a generous choice of yours, and it's the perfect ending to the perfect trip. Amen. My phone was on the verge of dying, and I didn't want to lose video or pictures on my last leg, so I was scanning buildings with outlets, and the Eagle Christian Church came to my aid. Yay, and it works. Um, I think I already told you about getting smoked at diesel truck. Because I used to think, why are they gunning it to get by me? They have space. It's called getting smoked and they're doing it on purpose. They're gunning it right past you so they blow black smoke on you. When it's totally open like this, it's very specific when someone's trying to fuck with you. And I'm sure some are women. I should just assume they're all men. All right, onward. Stopping at the Sinclair. What do we do? We drop off trash and we take a poor man's bath whenever we can, but I'm not doing it this morning because I'm going to a house. I don't know if many people know this. These places, they'll let you get water and it's free. On this trip, I've had to ask because the soda machines were ginormous in some of these small towns. A lot of soda drinkers. The water button, or sometimes it's on a little tab. You gotta bring your own bottle, don't use their cups, obviously. Filled it with ice. It's actually even better than just putting a bunch of water in here. And hidden in there. I think I've had maybe 18 bags on this trip. If you like sugar, try these. I think I'm gonna let go of my shoes. They were so awesome for when I got in and out of my tent. I used them at first, all the time. Hey, that tape is holding, man. That electrical tape works. But just so you can see, these are from Walmart, but see these super thick nubby things in the river? It won't cut through. They're super lightweight. It comes around the, up around the heel. That's what I liked a lot. It came up around the toe. It's just another thing that I have that I don't need. I almost feel like leaving them out for somebody to wear, but I've always analyzed commercials and ads and most confuse me like this one. Woo! Idaho lottery. Luck is everywhere, especially here. Where? This doesn't make me think of the lottery at all. And if they're trying to make you think of a money tree, this tree looks pretty poor. I'm not insulting the photographer, by the way. I'm just saying, I don't understand this ad choice. Ad directors, they make a lot of money. And then they're spending all this money, you know, blowing this stuff up. Tell me how this makes you feel. Does this make you feel lucky? Does this make you feel like you want to play the Idaho lottery? If it does, tell me how, because I'm completely lost on this ad choice. 
These other ones are just putting ads right in front of your face. And of course, the Coca-Cola has everything tastes better together. The man is sort of pulling her in to him a little bit because she's desirable because she's drinking a Coca-Cola and eating a Subway sandwich. <laughs> Time to pedal on. Downtown Boise, 11.2 miles. No more road, we're on this path. It's called the Green Belt. I think I said this before, when you're actually in the main city, Apple Maps sucks when you're actually looking for details, but it works better than Google when you're in the outskirts. And that's been my experience for six weeks. I actually started on this trail when I left Boise on this bike trip. I was heading south, and now I'm coming in from the north. Look how pretty this is. The river looks really user-friendly, shallow. Oh, these are really pretty, the way they're set up. I love the pick up the dog poop image. This is just lovely. Having this type of setup living wise, and then you have the water right there. This is Riverside RV Park. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Yeah, look at how, ugh. It's like a toddler mountain bike training park down to the little one. So many lessons in this. I feel bad for kids that grow up in areas where there's nothing to do. We're closer to downtown now, but these people are surfing. That's great. This may be the most impressive park I've ever seen. The landscaping, the bridges. My dream car was right here. Look at this beauty. Oh man. Here's Boise. Very similar to Salt Lake City. Cottage, homes all very unique in their own style. Wider streets, lush with trees, and they just go on and on. It's like fall's happening. What is it, the end of August? Ah, oh, just beautiful. So I'm not really going home, going to Couch Surfers, James's. So it's not like I'm gonna, oh, okay, I'm home. Chill, kick my feet up on the couch, you know, watch some movies, relax for a bit. His house is very cozy and friendly, but it just means that I, I'm still going into another temporary situation. Oh, the yards start to get bigger. Homes start to get bigger. Look at this. Oh, goodness. So beautiful. And I made it. <laughs> this is my best luck. <laughs> I just gave her the warm welcome for you. Nice, nice. Hi! Hi, welcome hey. back! Conquering hero! <laughs> and we end where we began. <laughs> Let's see if anyone's done anything to that little car sitting there for six weeks. Let's hope she starts. See, we'll make sure, yeah. Oh, good, my bike rack is still on the car. Oh, you put the reflective part inside. Were there actually bugs in there? Poor things. All right, little lady. Nice! It's so dirty. It'll be fun to wash it. Okay, so after washing the car, the next priority was to pick up Domino's Thin Crust Pizza with the barbecue honey, barbecue honey sauce, chicken, mushrooms, and onions. Yeah, baby. Boy, they do a beautiful job here in Boise. And, of course, I got a new flavor ice cream. They had a ton of flavors here. The cashew milk one is so good. Oh, exciting. I can't wait to go home. What I'm calling home for now. James's generosity. I'm gonna sit on my desktop computer and pop on like some series that I need to catch up on. Netflix or Amazon. Just be a hermit. Here I am. One day and three hours in. Yay. <laughs> Yay.